everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani. I am your creative cook. And what I want to bring to you today is my spin on, on my style on uh, beef and broccoli. You know, like the takeout. Okay. But with, of course, a little Puerto Rican touch in there. And... Let me show you what the ingredients are. Of course, you're going to need your broccoli. I use two cups of fresh broccoli, which are two bushels or bunches, however you want to call it, of broccoli um, florets. I've got some fresh ginger here, which I freeze mine. It makes it real easy, and I'm just going to microplane uh, some of this into the meat. Um, Probably the sauce. Uh, some bell red and green peppers and some onions. Um, got two cloves of garlic, which voy a machacar. I'm going to use my uh, mortar and pistol on my pilon. In Spanish, it's called pilon. There's my steak. I just finished cleaning and skinning. Um, and slicing it's not the flank steak which I would have liked to have had um, or the stir fry steak already prepared it's actually um, the skirt steak yeah so that's what they had so that's what I got all right, I already have a tablespoon of sofrito in there, as you can see. To that, I will add um, some salt, baking soda, cornstarch, rice, vinegar, okay? Of course, adobo for seasoning. And then in the sauce, we're going to do soy sauce. I'll probably add a little soy sauce in there too. I don't know. Um, in the sauce, I'm going to do soy sauce. Worcestershire. For sweetness, the rest of this uh, Kikkoman sweet and sour sauce. So you can add honey uh, or sugar. Steak sauce. And of course, I always use EVO to fry everything with. And I am going to add maybe a little uh, dash of sesame oil. Okay. And let's see what else. I've got onions, garlic. I've got ginger. I think that's everything. Okay. Um, let me see what I wrote down here. What I want. Instead of the beef stock, I'm going to use the steak sauce with a quarter cup of water. Um, you can also use brown sugar. I'll probably add a little bit of brown sugar too. Um, as far as the cornstarch, for that amount of meat, um, which I don't even know, I guess it's about a pound, um, possibly three tablespoons of cornstarch. I'm going to mix all that well, okay? Uh, with the ginger and the garlic and all the sauce, sauces. I said sauces, like my New York accent came out there. All right, but the first thing we're gonna do is season the meat in this bowl, okay? And what is that? And a um, piece of broccoli. And we're gonna stir fry the vegetables. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started with seasoning this meat. Now, I don't know, I may want to put the garlic on this so I could adhere, you know, to the meat. You know what I mean? So let me get my gloves on so we can go ahead and mix all this in to the meat. I've already washed my hands. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this meat in this bowl right here, okay, and mix that sofrito in, which smells so wonderful, oh, Lord, 
I am going to put a little bit of red wine, cooking wine, in here. Uh, that's what I'm going to use. Okay. Just a splash. Oh. Okay. That's it. That's about a tablespoon. Okay. I do like to put a little bit of oil in my meats. Feel everything sticks to it. Oh, God, that smells so good. Okay, here comes my adobo sprinkle. Okay, that's about a teaspoon of adobo, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Okay, keep massaging it. I'm going to forego the salt. The Himalayan pink salt for now because we got the soy sauce coming and I just put adobo I try not to cook with a lot of salt you know so here comes the baking soda and that's a lot okay teaspoon okay baking soda To the meat. Rice wine vinegar. Okay, about a tablespoon. Okay. It's bubbling now, as you can see. It's starting to bubble because of the baking soda. That's what you want to see. Okay. Mix that in there real good. Then here comes the three tablespoons. One touch. One. Two. And three. We may add a little bit more later in the sauce. We'll see. So I'm going to leave this out. Okay. Go ahead and mix that in. As you can see that I'm doing here. Very well. Make sure all the strips are covered. Or coated, I should say. All right, this seems to be it. Okay, take this glove off. All right, okay, next thing we're going to do is. I'm going to need a bowl to put my sauce in. I'm going to use that. And let me scrape off the skin, which you can do with a spoon. God, this smells so good. It's just unbelievable how good this smells. Seriously. Okay. The skin comes right off. Okay. We got it. Good enough. All right, so now we're going to mm 
microplane in into a bowl. All right. Get them out, put this one back. In a minute. <laughs> so we have our ginger in there. Next thing we are going to do is our garlic. So I'm going to let me mash that up and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I got it all mashed up. I'm going to take this and put it right there in the meat and mix it in there because that way it will adhere to the meat and give it all that flavor. All right, so this is done. So I'll stir that in there. Oh, yeah. It's looking good. Oh, it smells so good. Yum. I tell you, there's nothing like sofrito. What is this piece of string? I don't like string on my meat. All right. So that is done. I got my ginger in here. A little bit of oil. vinegar okay just a couple of drops of sesame an eighth of a teaspoon if anything okay Worcestershire sauce about two tablespoons okay soy sauce about three tablespoons Kiko man, this is about a, I'd say a quarter of a cup left in this bottle. We are going to have a little bit of water, so I might as well put it in the bottle, get all that good sauce out, and shake it up, okay. I'm going to put a little bit more, get the rest of the sauce, delicious sauce out. Just a dash. All right. So, I'm going to put all this stuff away, clean up my station, and we'll get to put this dish together. Okay, here we go. We're going to turn on some heat. and give this sauce a mix. I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. half a teaspoon okay that and the ginger should complement and I also have some powdered ginger just ground ginger if I need more here's the steak sauce about a quarter of a cup some water in this be long get that garlic off there and into the sauce tell you don't waste nothing 
I know I don't. I get every bit of flavor in there. Okay. There it is. There's the sauce. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put our onions in there. Come on, give me some heat now. And... If you like just onions, just do that. Red onions are ideal. I ran out. All I have is white, and that's a bit too strong for this. It'd be good for a pepper steak, by the way. Check out that recipe. Just like takeout. Okay, let that stir fry. I'll bring you right back. Okay, now that that's going, we're going to put it in our meat and stir fry it. And you want this to kind of sear a little, but not too much because you don't want a chewy meat. Okay? It should be very tender. So just break up the meat as best you can. Don't worry too much about that because it will break up in the, it'll separate in the sauce. Okay, so lay them down, spread it across the pan, just like so, and let them sear just a touch, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to give me a little bit of brown sugar to put in the sauce. Put in our broccoli. Okay. We like big slices of broccoli. If you don't, just cut it down to the size that you like. This one's a bit too big. This one got by me. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna cover this and let it go. Steam on its own. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't want a soggy broccoli. Okay. So we're going to put it on a low wall number two. All right. In the meantime, we're going to taste the meat. Because remember, I did not want to add 
salt. So let's get ahead and taste this. We're going to taste it for flavor, salt, and texture. Okay. Mmm. Very tender, melt in your mouth. Mmm. -hmm. Just enough salt, don't need anything. Mmm. That is so good. All right. Water. Splash of water to help you steam a little bit. I'll bring you back. Okay, this is just right. So to that, we're going to add our meat. This is a quick dish, I'll tell you what. A quick dish to make. work is about what 15 minutes maybe okay Just mix that up, and here comes the sauce. Pour that in there. Mix it very well. down in there. Just want to taste the broccoli with the sauce. I already know the meat tastes good. Don't want a big piece either. Okay. And taste this. Mmm. Broccoli is so crunchy. This is perfect. Probably needs a little bit more brown sugar, which I'll add. So I'd say about half a cup of brown sugar. Which I've only, I only added, I don't know, what was it? A tablespoon, I think. Yeah, it's going to need more than that. Okay, I should do it. Just the right amount of tanginess, uh, the sesame uh, oil, you just that hint, that nutty of nuttiness is delicious, I got to tell you. So once the sauce thickens and adheres to all the broccoli and the meat and it all comes together, one delicious dish. I am going to be, I'm going to make the rice next. I'm going to serve this. With white rice, which is what's traditional. And that'll be that. This is piece right here. Just getting on my nerves. Okay. Stem. Mm. Oh, much better.
as perfection. So it's on a number two. I'm going to leave it like that for about 20 minutes. And then that is done. All right. I'm going to make the white rice. And I'll bring you the final plate presentation uh, around dinner time. So y'all see. Until then, enjoy your day, guys. I'll see you this afternoon. Okay, well, here's the plated presentation. That is beef and broccoli served with some agave glazed baby carrots, some white rice, my Parker house roll, house rolls, a salad, and then he'll decide what he wants to drink. There's his drinking cup. This is Hubster's plate. But isn't that so, look at that, delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it tastes just like takeout. Uh -huh, guarantee. Now, remember, you can make that as sweet or as non-sweet as you like it. You know, you have that power in your hands. So, make you some. Try my recipe out. Let me know what you think if you like. If not, that's okay. But just make yourself some and have a taste. All right? So, until the next time, folks, you all take care of yourselves and one another. This is absolutely delicious. hit that like button give me a thumbs up subscribe and hit that notification bell bye y'all god bless you